fanya kile kitu moyo unapenda na utakifanya hata kama ukiwa na fear the, the once you get in there like you put a step what, in there what's fear let's start in hapo kwa sababu ngambia ukasema kama passion na nini what's fear kwa sababu fear can be there even if you are part, passion of doing something si ndio yeah. passion it comes from when you have that feeling kwamba i love to do this thing right but there is a second voice within you says no don't do it utaondoka alafu ni mkubwa utafanyaje okay listen achana na fear fear hiyo ni kitu ambacho ni tunaweza kusema equilibrium like iko kati umeona yani ime stand pale iko pale ipo katika kila sehemu kila kitu mtu anataka kufanya lazima kuwe kuna fear hata yule mwenyewe ulikuwa unaanza hii studio hii ulikuwa una fear like will it work so na everything has fear umeona sure but mm-hmm. i didn't let it to lakini, take me off kuna, eh, lakini kuna lakini kuna vitu vingi hapo i'm the person who love to try kwa hata sasa. kama naogopa nataka nipambane na challenge ili nijifunze sikia ni sasa sikia sasa na nakupeleka huko huko wewe unataka kutofautisha ni unataka kuviunganisha vile vitu unataka kuvitofautisha lakini mimi nataka nikwambie kitu kimoja fear ni kitu ambacho kiko pale pale na kinatakiwa kieleweke kwamba ni kipo pale pale umeona lakini when you talk about force and passion ni vitu vili tofauti Mona, passion unafanya kitu ambacho moyo unapenda like yeah. hata ukikifanya yani una feel afu mwisho siku ukija kufanikiwa unashangilia like no, I did it. Tukifanya ambacho tunapenda. Mm-hmm. Does fear doesn't it? No, sometimes inakuja, mm-hmm. inakuja. Fear inakuja, tena inakuja big time. Mimi yani ilishae kuntokea. That's why I'm talking this. Yani naongea kutoka moyo. So which one will you choose? Fear to control the passion or passion to control the fear? Passion to control the fear. Umesemaje hapa? Why 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 are you ascribing no yaku hiyo nini kusikatu una, unasema ah uh, no like mimi nimesema kutiana aibu sijasema kwamba naogopa <laughs> siogopi lakini kutiana <laughs> aibu yani umesema kutiana aibu ah kutiana aibu ni kwamba ah, kwanza kitu chenye nicho nimesema siwezi kufanya kwa sababu i was like nilikuwa na sketch lakini kina, kina yani it's boring like sijui kama ni watu nilienda nao nini na nini lakini it was boring ni na nini that's why hata nilikwambia mpaka kwenda eneo lile wakati unajua ni kitu kilicho nikombisi mimi nilikuwa namsindikiza rafiki yangu aliniambia umi i haven't go there like called center nataka niende tukane the matter is tulikuwa tulikuwa tunaenda katika mazombi mm. ile kuingia katika ile chumba cha mazombi mm. sio naelewa mm-hmm. lakini issue ikaja tukawa tunaona vitu vingi like many games like sasa yeye akaanza ah mimi nataka ile nataka ile nataka ngambe okay let's go because she's my best friend umeona yeah. and i don't want to disappoint her like i love my best friend so much so i, I didn't want to disappoint her nikamwambia okay let's let's go fine sure mm-hmm. then tuka tuka tukaenda ile katika gari tuka nini tena tukaenda kwenye sketch akasema ah mimi naona gari kwenye tv i want to sketch for the first time like i was like ah the thing okay let me try it like in the morning we were going to find i was like ah it's boring like Yeah, maybe the people you went with so you should wait and <laughs> let me take you there <laughs> maybe not on you eh the company of you no mona ah, the thing is, is very funny yeah, because I'm not sure let me tell you something one one thing i love about trying mhm is inakujengea tabia unaelewa mhm is fun inakujengea tabia ambayo ile tabia basically na ku build wewe kama wewe yani unaelewa kwa hiyo ukisema usubiri kujenga tabia ya, ya, ya kujaribu kwa vitu ambavyo unavipenda is very hard. Mm-hmm. Jaribu kila kitu kipya and learn to try ambayo ikupe tabia ya kujaribu. That one yeah, sure. is positive. Yeah, sure. Mera, so even that thing uh, even even if it's boring lakini as much as umeenda kule na I'm, I'm sure hata wewe wakati unaiangalia kwenye TV some days you feel like nah, I think I can try this. Mimi I wanted a real eyes not just a plastic thing then which was beautiful anyway you see hakuna kitu kama kile ukienda kule ni unadunkia kwa sababu ni full ile ni nini ni nyati ambazo zile zinakuwa laini so zile ambazo ni mabarafu kabisa so unajua kwa nini wanaviweka sehemu kama zile nchini hatuna sehemu ya ice places ambazo ni drop it wasn't interesting kwa sababu it wasn't real life you train kwenye and that's why hamna river really high lakini wanakutengenezea mazingira ili kama unataka kujaribu jaribu hizi ni lugha unazosema sababu za control you are una rusu fear ah no no it's a matter of passion like passion yani you have to understand passion kitu mtu mimi leo mtu akaniambia hivi like tuna tukafanya project flan i will be like what kind of project okay fine do this uh, okay it's uh, it's about this and this and this we are going to get a mentorship we are going to be, to get investors we are going to do in in competition mimi i will go there like even if i'm fear you can't believe i will present it in front of people hata kama akiwa many cloud like my voice will shake so you shake but nikianza kuona smile za watu zinatokea mimi na mimi naendelea kuni nikupata nguvu and lazima pale smile ziwepo kwa maana watu ni wengi umeona so utakuta mtu mwingine in the back like kakatu hivi 
wale ah mbele tu unafuta mtu kakaa hivi very serious like ah huyu acheki kila anachokiongea this is not okay ukimwangalia kuna mtu mwingine nyuma utamkata anafanya hivi so unakuwa una focus na yule nenda na kukourage umeona sasa na mimi nazidi ile sasa pale ninapokutana na watu ambao wote wamenuna na mimi na present huku nimenuna kwa sababu they trying to make me scared i'm trying to make them feel like i'm not scared umeona kwa hiyo sometimes yeah sometimes it depend umeona it depend on how you choose what to do umeona as those people ambao labda ukiwa na present kitu ukaona they are kind of serious Uh, na unajua kabisa hii yeah. story na present sio serious pengine wana wanakufanya upoteze utoke kwenye topic sometimes yes i'm not i'm not going to lie but sometimes yes sometimes no sometimes i'm like unajua kuna ile voice ambayo inakuwa na kabla pale sija present afu uwaga kuna mtindo fulani hivi kama nikiwa na tunaenda katika labda maybe competition or presentation to a workshop na nani utakuta sasa mpo only three girls you have afford any tin you have to present asa mtu anakwambia anza wewe basi anza wewe anza wewe no you go you go you go asa doctor katika mstari you are the first the second afu mwingine anafata so kiangalia watu wote wanakoangalia so no in that in that case mm-hmm. unataka situation, situation kama hiyo mm-hmm. what drives you to stand in yeah, front of people wrong uh-huh. like kitu ambacho kinanipeleka mimi to stand mimi nina ile kitu kinachoitwa leadership thing like in my heart sometimes yani kwa sababu nimeona nimefanya vitu vingi nishajaribu vitu vingi then nika fail huaga nasema hivi let me try this yani kile kitu ambacho inasema let me try to be the first again umeona kile ndo kinachoni push mimi ni stand niende pale na ile feeling ya kusema hivi kama mimi ni huaga na wazaga kama nimeweza kuwa chia person you and shule ni kwetu nimeweza kuchaguliwa kuwa chia person in the cluster like ilala yote mashuleni why can't i stand in front in car the first one kuongea what if ningekuwa peke yangu umeona hata sometimes mpaka unatakuta tu okay fine i'm going like hata kama mtu ajaanza kunini yani ni waga na kaa tu kimya sometimes siombi nenda wewe nenda wewe no like naacha wabishani afu mimi okay fine girls i will i will start going umeona so wanaanza oh yeah yeah that's a girl we see and i was like mm ah yani na watu wasio like i'm just going but yeah unataka sema unasema una enjoy you kwamba yeah oh yeah let me show you that's the feeling like nikienda by is the first one afu watu wengine wakaja akafata sana kuwa na learn umeona but sometimes sometimes kuanza kunakuwa kuna kuna kunapoteza opportunity nyingi sana yani kuwa wa kwanza kuanza kwa nini nasema hivyo kama mimi hapa Yaani tume sio kwa wote. Kwa mimi ambaye ni labda naweza nikasema upcoming like kama mtu naeanza. Huaga si naweza nikasema kwa upande wangu si tu yani sitilii si, si, si nani sana kuanza ku present mara kwanza. Yeah. Kwa maana huaga nakosa opportunity nyingi kivipi. Nikianza ku present mimi mara kwanza nita present few things. Umeona of which mtu ambaye anakaa pale kwenye sita anasikiza anaanza kusema mm, alisema hichi mimi naanza kusema sema hichi mimi ndio mwana mwanza the end of the day ukienda ukiuliza wanaanza sema hichi hujasema hichi hujasema hicho sasa mwanzako anaenda round ya pili haenda anaongea vyote you see then you get like okay let's you know it's real pain yeah it's real pain mwana sema ndio hivyo unajikaza unaanza kumuuliza mtu did you present this sasa doctor watu wengine wanakuambia yeah you did good you did good lakini mimi waga sometimes nataka yule mtu ambaye aniambia hivi kuna sehemu mkosea kwa sababu doctor mtu mwingine kila wakati ukimuuliza nimepresent vizuri eh yani kila kitu kilikuwa poa like wakati mimi mwenyewe wakati na present nilikuwa naji feel like nilikuwa natetemeka nilikuwa nafanya hivi nilikuwa nafanya hivi na chapia sana nyingine uone kwamba na kwa mfano unapowauliza hivyo unaenda kumuuliza mtu ambaye pia mm-hmm. ana fear ile ya ku present kwa hiyo anakumsija yeye akiji yani anajaribu kujicompare yeye na wewe kwamba kilo ilichokifanya ni kizuri zaidi kwa hiyo huwezi kushinda yeye mwenyewe eh, kwamba yeye eh, you are you are his you are you are his or her competitor he, like mm-hmm. sifanyagi kitu kama hicho mm-hmm. kumuuliza mtu ambaye ni ni my sema mtu ambaye na compete naye hapana siwezi kumuuliza huaga so, na ga audience moja the point is kwamba uh-huh. like mimi ndapokaa pale maybe we are in a youth gathering you know tunaongea kama vijana mhm wao kikaa pale ukianza kuzungumza mimi nasema da sisi amefanya kwa mshinda mimi. Unaona? Mm-hmm. I'm the audience. Mm-hmm. I'm not the person who is coming after you to the podium. Unaona? Mm-hmm. So when you come back and ask me for my opinion, obviously I'll judge me and you na nitakwambia kwamba you have done much better than what I've done. What mm-hmm. I will do. 
up there. Yeah. So are you asking the umeona sasa the problem na kuja? Are you asking the audience? The audience wa jaji wao na kuona kwamba wao utafanya imefanya kazi nzuri kushinda kushinda wao. Lakini pia ukimu uki how do you like how do you self evaluate yourself from the first stage to the other? Iko hivi. Okay, fine. Kama kwamba how do you prove your improvement? Have I proved or what? You based on audience? You based on your fellow competitors or where do you base? Oh, you base on I base I only no, I only based on my audience like only audience siwezi nikamuuliza my fellow umeona competent like iko hivi mimi siwezi nikakaiti naenda kumuuliza mtu kabisa like anania kunishinda afu naenda namuuliza kwa sababu najua either ata discourage au ataniambia kwamba niko more than afu ukienda akienda pale ana do more than i saa ata disappoint zaidi kwa nini amenidanganya umeona so hiyo inakuwa bad mwisho wa siku mimi nakuwa najenga ile like kama kutaka ku fight for it like for force sasa umeona afu inakuwa ni mbaya zaidi but mimi mwaga nauliza audience uwezi amini kama pale afu the good thing ni kwamba tunaenda pale ni competitors tunakaa mbele alafu hawa ma audience wanakaa nyuma huku umeona so mimi waga tu nikishatoka pale naenda moja kwa moja nyuma naanza kuuliza kwa sababu wengi sana utakuta watu tunafahamiana tuna nao tumetoka unajua kuna ile connection networking na nini unaenda pale unakaa mnakaa hivi mnatulia like then unambe hey how did it go mmeongea kama hivi ah kuna same fulani umeenda sio lakini kuna same fulani umepatia but you did good umeona those are kind of people waga na wauliza umeona and at the end of the day i make sure that i change umeona na for real i do change even if kama ni presentation nilikosea ku ku mold au nimekosea kuitengeneza au the way ninavyo ninavyo pitch nimekosea huwa natengeneza kama nimeenda maneno marefu nafupisha okay. umeona so yeah na mimi mimi uh, usually write us in in speeches do i what you usually write your speeches out in a oh they just come automatically like ah no actually i write it down you write them and you mm -hmm. practice them yes. you, you write the speeches or you just write down the notes what you're going to speak it, i'm just like write all the speech like the everything i'm going to talk there ninakuwa ninaandika vitu vingine unajua katika kuongea good thing about talking i was speaking ni kwamba kuna vitu vingine vinakuja automatically hata kama uliviandika lakini vyenyewe vitakuja automatically umeona so siwezi kusema nitaandika vyote ninavyoongea ila kuna muda uoga nina kile nitakacho nitakachoongea pale ndio nitakapo nini nitakacho nitakacho kiandika umeona au ni hicho kiandika ndio nitakacho nini nitakacho enda kukiongea vile vile i'm good at kukarili so <laughs> utapita nimekaa hivi <laughs> ndakuta nimekaa hivi kwenye kio hivi i'm just talking to myself like okay umi my name is umi heli i'm i'm the founder of this and this and i'm going to do this and this my project is about this nini afu ingeenda pale na flow vile vile but sometimes inatokea waga fear inanipelekea ni change hata the way inavyo speech au navo navo nini navo navo present pale au kutoa ile pitch yani inanipoteza kabisa umeona hata baada ya kuanza ku kama vile nilivyosema naanza nabadilisha njia naenda njia nyingine of which sometimes i cost sometimes in a cost okay na uh, uh, good thing umesema mara nyingi ukiwa unafanya presentation unaangalia how the society, how the audience speak that uh, ile you are speaking mm -hmm. ni vitu gani hasa ambavyo una vimaki kwenye kwenye jamii kwenye audience ukiviona vile ndio vinakuwa vinakujulisha kwamba yani huwa unapima nini hasa kwa audience wakati una present ili to make sure kwamba kupima ile uwezo wako wa kupresent ah napima respond like unajua wakati wa kupresent mimi huaga na make eye contact like siwezi hata nikikaa hivi normally nikiwa naongea na friends zangu mpaka watu wengine wanambia wewe mbona niangalia hivyo umeona mimi na make eye contact sana like sana vile ninavyokuangalia wewe ndio naelewa your expression like is you she's a liar is a liar umeona so, mm -hmm. so <laughs> eh why <laughs> you see like nikiwa na present huwa namwangalia mtu usoni kwa hiyo mtu mtu mwingine special yake kaka nasema ah okay this is not good kwa hiyo mtu mwingine anafanya hivi you see then umewahi kufundishwa namna ambavyo mapokeo yani namna ya kupresent vitu kwa kwa audience mhm umefundishwa so ni Tarume anafanya ama anadhani that leadership energy inside you so kuna those people ambao automatically wana ule uwezo wa kupresent mbele ya audience si ndio mm. and those these people ambao wanafundishwa wewe mm. ni kipi ulifanya uliamini uli kwamba is it kwamba you have that force ndani ukaenda kukiongezea ama ni ile ile peke yake inaendelea ile ya ama ni hii ya education 
um, mimi naweza nikasema <laughs> ziko mbili mbili tu sio tatu maana umetaja nyingi sana ziko mbili ya kwanza ya kufundishwa ya pili ya kuad mimi naangaliaga sana naangaliaga sana youtube videos ni na nini naangalia how watu wana kabla sija sijaenda ku present au before the day sija present au vitu yani muda kama labda wiki mbili kabla sija present naangalia sana videos zile ambazo watu wengine wana present sana sana watu walika langu na pia watu wa nini wa umri ambao wamenizidi zile idea zao ambazo nikiangalia zinaendana na zangu umeona so na, nachukua skills zao ni kuunganisha na hizo kuni hizo kufundishwa most, most of the times zinakuwa zinafanana umeona yani zinakuwa zinafanana zina mesh sana kwa hiyo siwezi kusema kwamba nime nimenaniliu nime, nimezaliwa na ku present au nimezaliwa kuweza kunaniliu kwenda ku, ku, kuongea pale mbele za watu hapana mimi nimefundishwa na pia nimejifunza kupitia wengine uh, where that came from ile marriage ya, ya, ya kutaka ku, 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 ku kuwa iconic kwa sababu when we say leadership that means you, are, you want to be some kind of an icon within the society si ndio mm. and you said when ni mwenyekiti wa ilala then mwenyekiti wa um yani nilikuwa nilikuwa UN yeah mm-hmm. totally UN UNCTN mm-hmm. so UN UN as you know United Nation Tanzania Network UN, United Nation Nations. Clubs yani UN, UNCTN mm-hmm. United Nation Clubs Tanzania Network mm-hmm. Isi, yani ni clubs za UN ambazo zenyewe zina jumu, zinataka yani zimechukua vijana katika se, kuweka katika sehemu moja ya moja ya mataifa vijana sana sana wa sekondari yani katika UNCTN maana ziko katika category nyingi so wanataka wale vijana wa sekondari nchi dunia, dunia nzima sasa hii hapa imebezi Tanzania waweze kuungana na kutimiza yale malengo mangapi malengo 17 ya ya yeah, uh, yeah, UN yeah, United Nations yale zile sustainable development goals SDGs. So sisi kama UNCTN tunakuwa tuna, tuna, tuna nini? Tuna make sure that li, zile clubs zina work zina work out katika mashule. Umeona? Zinakuwa zinahakikisha kwamba wanafunzi wanafanya project of tofauti katika kunini kuhakikisha kwamba wana develop our country. Umeona? Wanachangia katika ku change Tanzania yetu. These are the, these are projects zinakuwa ni za skills based and educational based. Both. Mm-hmm. Both like we give education and give skills. Mm-hmm. Like kama mfano katika UNCTN tuliungana na kama yani mfano yani sema tu uzuri coordinator wetu aliweza kutuunganisha na project I mean na mradi ambao ulikuwa unaitwa uwezo wa words mm-hmm. ambao wenyewe unakuwa umenaniliu umechukua wanafunzi yani ulikuwa unachukua wanafunzi tofauti tofauti katika mashule ni waweza kufanya clubs tofauti I mean waweza kufanya project tofauti tofauti katika kuni kubadilisha jamii yao ile pale jamii yao waliopo umeona mm-hmm. so wao wakachukua wakaweka waka, waka mkataba na ule mradi of which wao wanafanya wanafunzi wa UN umeona so ile ikatengenezea kuongezeka kwa nini kwa ku, ku, yani kuongezeka kwa wanafunzi ambao wanafanya mabadiliko katika jamii. Umeona? Kwa sababu UN UN kama UN aim yao ni ku make sure that youth anakuwa anatimiza vision. Mm-hmm. Yaani ni sustainable development goals wanakuwa wana yani wanakuwa wanashiriki kikamilifu. Kwa hiyo hizo hiyo miradi tofauti tofauti yenyewe inakuja kwa mfumo wa education na inakuja kwa mfumo wa skills. Umeona? Kama sisi zanaki, wanafunzi wa zanaki, tulitengeneza project ambayo tukatusaidia kurekebisha cho cha shule ambayo ilikuwa katika bad condition. Na for real, sasa hivi watu wanatushukuru like ah kila kitu ona. You and you and you and you and see. Like tume make thing. Umeona? Yaani tumetengeneza kitu ambacho hata sisi wenyewe tumepata jina. Utakuta chooni kuna ndoo imekaa. Hii ndoo ya UN. Umeona? Kopo, msitupe kopo la UN. Ma dustbin. Ma dustbin you see. Like, like ni, ni kitu kinchenye nembo ya UN but yeah. iko made na wanafunzi wa yes. Tanzania. Well, yeah. uh, sasa here, here comes my best quiz. Mm-hmm. Uh, this thing is all about building youth about education and the skills, mm-hmm. sindio? Mm-hmm. Kwa wenye kiti wako, mm-hmm. ulikuwa unaona kabisa vijana ndani ya Tanzania wanapunguziwa wana hawana wana wana lack of skills. Mhm. Wanao. Yeah. Kwa nini ni jukumu? Kwa nini tumesubiri mpaka UN ambao ni umoja wa mataifa kuja mm-hmm. kufanya wakati we as a country we could have saved that. Okay. Kuna mipango yote ya serikali imekumbana mimi sijui ambao wana wajazia wana wana, wana, wana watu wa vijana skills. Um, na are you satisfied with that level ambao serikali nayo inafanya juu? Kwa kwa my experience ni kwamba sasa hivi serikali yetu katika ki, ile katika ya elimu 
science na teknolojia mm-hmm. imekuwa iki yani sasa hivi imepata ule ufahamu kuhusiana na science na teknolojia mambo ya innovation na nini na kuhusisha vijana katika kunini kutimiza malengo yao au kufanya mabadiliko katika nchi yetu kupitia zile uamini ule ubunifu wao lakini wame yeah wameweza kusaidia katika kiasi chao naweza kusema umeona kwa sababu wao <laughs> wanakuwa wanasubiri mpaka watu wenye miradi yao wapati wawaombe wawaombe wao wafadhili ili sisi tuweze kuonekana lakini mwisho wa siku tunajua serikali ni ahadi tu ni ahadi tu zinakuwa zina nini zinakuwa zinatokea zina so mm-hmm. so tuseme kwamba hamna mpango thabiti wa vijana wa serikali kuwafuata kuwajengea schools isipokuwa wanasubiri the people to come to mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ipo hivi. Kwa mimi ninavyoelewa na uelewa wangu. Serikali imetenga kama unafahamu sehemu inaitwa Costage. Ehe. Ile sehemu ni special kwa ajili ya vijana wabunifu. Umeona? Na inawataka vijana waende pale ili waweze kupatiwa elimu. Sasa na yenyewe huwa ina depend project yako ipoje. Mtu mwingine anaweza tu akaenda na project ambayo haina mantic. Umeona? Kwa hiyo hawezi kukusaidia. Lakini ukienda pale na project yako like umeandika proposal kila kitu wanakusaidia. That's a good idea. Lakini mimi ninachoona wana, wanahitaji sana kwenda outside their office like wakaenda mitaani. Umeona? Vijana tuko wengi. Kuna vijana wa Manzese, vijana sio wapi. Lakini ukiangalia kwa si, mm-hmm. the skills people around the street. Yeah, mm-hmm. Not in the Yes, yeah. In Kuna watu ambao hawapo mashuleni, wameishia darasa saba lakini ukiangalia wao uko na umri kama wetu, wanatengeneza magari, wanatengeneza ni mafundi geleji. Why can't we take them? Tukawapa more skills, tukawatengenezea ile knowledge kama umeshaanza kutengeneza geleji. Wanaweza wakawa hata wana viwanda vya kutengeneza magari. Umeona? So Tanzania yetu inakuwa ka, kwa namna hiyo. Lakini kwa sababu hata hivyo sisi tumekuwa tume tu, tuko naweza nikasema tuna hii kitu kinaitwa neo colonialism tumekuwa banned hiyo ndio hiyo sana mm-hmm. ngoko yeah, tulikuwa mm-hmm. banned au tumekuwa strict with ya, wenu, um, katika upande wa technology development umeona so ya yeah, hiyo ni tatizo pia umeona hata katika ukiangalia kwenye kwenye sheria yetu ya Tanzania yani sema hata ni Africa hizi third world countries nyingi sana uwaga ni tumekuwa tunatumia sheria za foreign na tumekuwa tumetengenezewa sheria hasisi hatujatengeneza yenyewe maana tukitengeneza sisi yenyewe sheria wao kule hawatufaidika umeona so sijamaliza <laughs> okay so um, then ukija katika upande wa, wa serikali pia vipo wamechangia katika kufanya amini wame nani sema labda naweza nikakosoa hapo kidogo ni kwamba sisi vijana tuko mashueni umeona na miradi yetu au ubunifu wetu unakuwa una base na entrepreneurship things. Umeona? Huwezi kubuni kitu bila kukiuza ukapata faida, si ndio? Lakini the thing is, elimu bule inamkataza mwanafunzi kuwa mfanyabiashara. Umeelewa? Hapo sasa ndio inapoa mtengenezea mwanafunzi mazingira mabomu. Mm-hmm. A base katika education tu ambayo inamjenga kwenye mm-hmm. kuajiriwa yeah. kuliko kuwa mbunifu. Ya, yeah, kuwa mbunifu. Na pia inambana hawe katika mtu ambaye anataka tu yani unalikuwa huwa unaperform tu academically, academically. Lakini katika mambo mengine usconcentrate kwa sababu mwisho wa siku utatumia energy nyingi sana huku kuliko huku. Of course jana wakati na kunaongea na yeye kuna kitu nikuulizwa kanambia kwa sasa na focus na shule. Nikamwambia no, you should not do that kwa sababu maisha ya hujui which which what uh-huh. will take you where umeelewa yeah. mm-hmm. sasa na eh uh, wewe ni figure mhm unataka kuniambia na umekuwa mwanga wa ile mpaka jana ukaitoa ile kauli ama hapana 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 unajua everything has its time umeona mm-hmm. and mimi nina plan yani nina plan everything na plan katika yani nina plan katika my diary like kila kitu nina plan yake mm-hmm. i've got a multiple thing umeona inafanya mm-hmm. like mimi mwenyewe waga najiita mart purpose dr mtu mwingine anaweza tu akaja ni watu wa kawaida wanakuja anuiza hivi wewe unafanyaga mishe gani zaidi mm-hmm. mimi nitawaambia tu mimi nafanya vitu vingi sana kwa sababu like ukiangalia vitu vingi nafanya ni vya kijamii so at the end of the day nakwambia mimi nafanya vitu vya kubadilisha jamii mm-hmm. utaona niko katika mambo ya environment utaona nipo katika mambo ya leadership utaona niko katika mambo tofauti tofauti but as long as it's change the community mimi nipo Umeona? Hivyo ndio vitu tunavyofanya. Sasa about your question yesterday, mimi nitaka nikujibu lakini nilikuwa kidogo like nikaa ni yani nimesinzia. So I was like nitakujibu siku nyingine. Nitaka nikwambie hivi ni kwamba elimu ina nafasi yake. Na hivi vitu tunavyofanya pia vina nafasi yake. Umeona? Nimevifanya nilipokuwa na nafasi. Sasa hivi sina nafasi, nina nafasi ya kufanya elimu ipande juu kwa sababu at the end of the day nikisema ni, ni focus unajua mshikamali moja mfonyoka 
Ulijui. Kauli za zamani. Eh, kauli za zamani. Nilikuja kulingana na ukolonialism. Sasa sikia nikwambie. Hiyo kauli eh you don't believe. Mimi hata mimi mwenyewe sometimes believe hiyo. Lakini kuna muda natakiwa tuniamue. Kwa sababu in life you have to shadow akili akili eh akili ya akili ya akili ya, ya kijana wanasema kwamba imepanuka zaidi yani imepanuka zaidi kuliko akili ya yule mtu ambaye ni mtu mzima lakini ukiangalia kwa, kwa elimu yetu ya Tanzania haitompa hai nafasi mwanafunzi kufanyaje kubase katika vitu hivi viwili si unaelewa either ubase katika kitu hichi hichi uanguke either ubase katika kitu hichi hichi huku Unini, ubalance kidogo lakini mimi aim yangu ni kwenda haya so i have to focus niende haya then nikifika nikimaliza ile ile time nilokuwa nimeipanga niende na vitu hivi vingine ambavyo vitanipush haya umeona kwa hiyo nataka ni balance ili niweze kutimiza malengo yangu nilio yapanga okay so, sorry elimu yetu ya Tanzania haimpi mtu nafasi ya kufanya vitu viwili kwa pamoja mm -hmm. you have to study at the same time unapaswa yani you have to be with studies mm -hmm. uache vitu vingine mm -hmm. Do you think that's the problem of education as education ama ni tatizo la vijana tulionao wenyewe kama wenyewe kwamba tunaamini ukiwa unafanya elimu uwezi kufanya vitu vingine na ukajikuta tunaua vipaji vyetu mm. kwa sababu kwa nchi za wengine kuna watu wanaruhusiwa kwenda wanacheza ni wana, 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 wako kwenye zile soka academy si mm. lakini pia wanafanya na masomo okay. ya kawaida mm -hmm. sasa nacho nacho jaribu kufanya kwa sisi hapa hatuna mifumo ambayo ni mizuri si ndio mm. ya kutuwezesha kufanya hivyo yeah. unadhani hili ni jukumu la vijana wenyewe kama wa Tanzania kwamba tujaribu ku balance at our best kufanya shule lakini pia angalia ile uh, nini talent uliyonayo kuifanya ili kuikonvert ku kwenda kwenye biashara kwa sababu sasa hivi uwezo wa kusoma unaenda kuajiriwa yule zimeisha zipa mm -hmm. what are we doing lakini tunapaswa kusoma kuondoa tunapaswa kusoma si ndio mm. at the same time we have the talent mm -hmm. should we keep focusing kwenda kwenye ajira zilizo ja ama kama sisi wenyewe tubadilishe mind set ku base kwenye kujibadilisha okay the good thing about our education in Tanzania ni kwamba kuna ile space mwanafunzi anatakiwa au kijana anatakiwa aitumie umeona kwamba sisi wenyewe sio kwamba tusubiri serikali Mbona serikali unaweza ukaisubiri hata mwakani. Hata miaka miwili ijayo utaisubiri serikali lakini ikishaeka eh, eh, na uki, uki, ukisema unanilu usubiri serikali yani utajiangusha mwenyewe. So ni, ni mtu tu kujitambua. Umeona? Mtu kunini kujitambua yeah. na kuelewa. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like sisi vijana tuna muda mwingi sana. Asasa mimi nimepata ku, kuonana nimepata kupata ile cycle ambayo sema naweza ngasema na cycle ambayo ya watu wakubwa na watu wadogo wadogo yani na size ya kati umeona kwa hiyo naweza nikaenda sehemu hivi kama sehemu ya competition kuna competition pia ilikuwa inaitwa women in tech mwaka 2017 you cannot believe katika ile competition ilikuwa kama ni training something like that workshop kitu kama hicho kwa kinachanganya so walikuwa walitupa training ya mambo ya teknolojia na kwa sababu it was women in tech was i mean i was the only teen in the room only a secondary school girl wengine wote ni university kila mmoja aniambia hivi eh una nafasi yani umewahi sana then that's a good idea umefanya vizuri kuwahi lakini ukija ukujuu hutofanya kitu chochote yani ni bora ulivyoanza huko chini you see you see what i mean eh sasa hiyo sasa ninachotaka kumaanisha ni kwamba elimu yetu kwa nini ni nzuri imetupa nafasi kuna ile kuna ile elimu ya form 1 ile utakii kufocus sana mpaka kuumiza kichwa umeona it's just a matter wewe mwenyewe unapokuwa tu unajimanage usishuke sana kielimu usipande sana just go slow unaenda na kitu chako ambacho unataka yani sema extra curriculum tunaita unaenda nayo so kama ni unacheza mpira unacheza mpira lakini kuna ile wakati wa form 2 unatakiwa push harder like hey i need to stop this i need to focus so that i can succeed in this one and then in this one we will follow umeona then unakuja form 3 hivyo hivyo so vitu vinaenda slow umeona kama unaposema ni kama ni, ni chako kama Mungu amekupangia kitakuwa umeelewa na ukikikazia yani ukikikia juhudi lazima kitakuwa haiwezekani eti mimi kuna vitu viwili kuna ule ambaye hafanyi kabisa na kuna ule mtu ambaye anafanya kidogo 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 umeelewa yule mtu ambaye afanyi kabisa akija kufanya atakuwa nyuma kuliko mimi niliokuwa nafanya kidogo kidogo. So simply tuseme tu kwamba sisi wenyewe mimi hapo huko kusia unazungumzia kitu cha education system. Mhm. Mm Amesema kwamba kwanza sema form 1 pale unabidi usisitrago sana. Mhm. Mm Mina napiza napigana naye. Mhm. Mm Na kwa sababu gani? Nategemea with your historical background. Mm -hmm. Your education background kidogo. Mm -hmm. Kwa mfano umetoka shule za shule za kata. 
kuanzia kumoa mambo yote kuanzia la kwanza mpaka darasa la saba masomo yake yote yakuwa mtumishi wa Biblia Kiswahili ehe anaingia form 1 sisi ni public anaenda kwenye kizungu anaingia kwenye kiingereza wewe kwa upande wako labda tunaweza kusema sijui naweza kwamba labda umetoka labda sant plan Oh, ukaja kule wakutana darasa la darasa la 6 kuingia kwa maana la 4 unaweza kufundisha what is biology. Mm. Kwa kuta kumwana kuta what is biology. There's nothing new. Mm. You, you decide to focus on other stuff. Mzungumzie mm. ukijana ambaye anatoka shule ya kati. Yeah, kati. Anambaya sasa anaingia form 1. Mm-hmm. Alisha kufundishwa biolojia ni nini? Mm-hmm. Huko anakutana what is biology. Na kijana huyo huyo ambaye anatoka kule kwao yeye ndo amechukua jukumu la familia ambalo familia nzima inaamini education is everything.